How's it going everybody? Combo Hive Mind here playing Fishing Barren Sea. Now this is a new game to the channel, but a um, old game to me I should say. I played this game many many moons ago. There's been multiple multiple updates since and I just haven't played. I have a career which is up until before the updates fully decked out. I got all the boats and I'm doing really good money and this and that but I don't think that it's fair as a new series on the channel to just continue a career that I, I already went through all the struggles and everything and, and nobody gets to see me actually go through the struggles. So we're going to start a new career. Well, we're obviously going to use our name, Combo Hive Mine. Uh, we're going to be male and... Uh, I'll go with the tutorial because I don't really remember all the basics of the game. The only thing that I'm excited about is there's supposed to be king crab fishing. And that's what I want. That's why I want to play today. Okay, welcome to the Barrent Sea. You begin your career with a sturdy little wooden fishing boat that you have inherited from your grandfather. Ah, uh, thanks grandpa. With such humble beginning, it will be a long road to becoming one of the legendary mariners of the Barrent Sea. But let us not get distracted with dreams of fortune and glory. Let's start with the basics. To increase or decrease the throttle, W and S, we're using the WASP, and uh, respectively, you can also control the rudder with D and A. When you're ready, press V to switch to first person mode. This will allow you to move around the deck of your boat, which is not that big. All right, let's press V. In first person, you can also move around with the was these um, keys. You can interact with some objects on the boat with the E key. Try moving around the boat and then when you are ready, open the door by pressing E, then walk to the chair in the wheelhouse and press E again to interact with it. All right, so. This be our boat. This be our fishing line, one would assume. I'd be gutting some fish down here, which, if I remember correctly, is a uh, little animation game that totally, totally sucks. It is hard. No fish to gut, so we're gutting them here, okay. We can drive the boat from here, but we're gonna open the door. We can actually go downstairs there's a downstairs we got a hammer just randomly sitting here you can light the furnace if it ever gets a little wee bit cold all right uh, okay I uh, walk to the chair press E uh-huh once you're sitting in a chair you can also drive the boat in first person mode using the same controls in the third person mode press F to exit the chair and walk around press V to return to third person mode in third person mode, drive towards the long line that's been set all, uh, nearby. Okay. Okay, Ooh, my long line should be right there. That is a fantastic sounding boat right there. Come on, bump it up, man. Spin it around. I don't know. I'm assuming I got to be on the uh, right side, which either port or starboard side, one or the two. I'm not um, very uh, familiar with the terms of boating. I go boating in a uh, pantoon boat. And uh, these little kind of boats, this is what we have in my neck of the woods. Just tiny little baby boats with a 9.9 .9 HP uh, Mercury engine on there. Okay, tutorial mission part four. In order to haul in the long line, you need to position the boats such that both of the buoys are starboard. Okay, so starboard is uh, dri uh, driver's side, I mean passenger side, which is the right hand side, the right side of the boat, there you go. And at least one of the buoys is within a few meters of the line hauler. A semicircular region will be highlighted green when one of the buoys is positioned close enough to, to the line hauler. An arrow will point to the other buoy and uh, will also be highlighted green once this buoy is a starboard. Haul in the long line by selecting the pickup gear button in the bottom left and pressing E. Hold on. Oh, 
Okay. That's my pickup. I, I had to find them before I got there. Come on, old Betsy. You can do it. Okay, good turning radius. I'll give her that. I should do her. I mean, gear's not in range. It's right there, dude. Am I too close? Oh, yeah, now it goes green. Hold the phone. We're getting close. in the long line yes please when hauling in a long line you have to time your mouse click when you collect each fish the smaller the circle is the better you perform and the better you haul will be as indicated by the bonus percentage indicator so red is missed yellow is okay low result green is good medium result and blue is perfect for best result Well, that was a miss. I didn't expect it to be like that. Like I said, I haven't played in such a long time. A two perfect so far. Minus the one miss. That one doesn't count. That was a practice fish. Oh, just an okay one. A little bit premature on that one. Good. Perfect, perfect. Come on, keep those perfects coming. Uh, we'll take goods as well. We'll take goods. We just don't want any misses. Not that we know what we're doing. We shouldn't get any more misses. And I say shouldn't. That doesn't mean it ain't gonna happen. A little bit past the uh, perfect one. And last but not least, a good one. All right, we had 214 kgs, 565 and 152. Pollock, redfish, and haddock. Now we gotta gut this damn thing. Uh, okay, now you need to get the fish. Once you've pressed a start, you need to hold down the left mouse button and move the mouse from left to right in a continuous motion. I usually just go straight across. The gutting is horrible but i don't know this game is, is something try to keep the knife over marked paths to maximize the cutting gutting quality of the fish release the mouse button to complete gutting i press start to begin okay so i left mouse button start oh they actually changed this They actually changed the mini game. That that's I like this a lot better. A little bit off. The other one was horrible. Oh oh shit. That's it. Good job collecting the first long line. A mission waypoint has been set on your map to another long line that has been out for a number of hours already. Hurry to haul in this long line before too much time passes. A long line must be picked up before 48 hours have elapsed or else the line will be lost. The color of the buoys on the map indicate the amount of time they have been set out for. Blue is always best result, green is medium, yellow is low and red is very low result. I think it's 15, 14, 15 hours to uh, have the line being in the blue. Perfect for collecting. Alright. Uh, you, you can probably go away. 
I like the fact that you don't have to hold the throttle down. Oh, we gotta be coming from the other end. To go forward, you just bump up the speed and then you go. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, 430 meters away. We want to come in on a straight line. So we're going to go a bit this way. Then we're going to do a half moon loop turn once we get close. I don't know what those are. They look like buoys. Looks like a plane's about to land. or Looks like there's a runway marker. Obviously it's not, but that's what it looks like. And again, the only reason why I'm actually playing today is because, or started playing again, is because I want the King Crab. I want to do the King Crab. So before I started the episode, I went in my original game, which was my original career, and I didn't see anything for King Crab. On the map, that is. So maybe, maybe I had to start a new one. I know a lot of games are like that, like uh, the Gold Rush game. That's how it was. You had to, once they implemented Season 2 in the game, you had to restart pretty much from zero. So maybe this one is the same, or maybe I just had to go to, um, to a dock, buy a new boat, just slow it down a bit. I feel like they're in line here like this. But there's that's not what it's telling me though. If I'm looking at this. But I feel like they're both in line here. Am I wrong? I don't think I'm wrong. We're gonna go like this. I'm gonna follow uh, what I'm seeing here as opposed to what I'm seeing here. See 16 hours and it's in the green. So I'd say maybe 18 hours. It's pretty much at 17 hours now. It's about 18 hours to be in the blue. But maybe that's different for all different types of either one fish or lines as well, right? These are long lines. I prefer netting, of course. Uh, the crab is with cages. That's the goal. That's what we're going for right now. That's, that's what I want to see. I'm just hoping that I get to see that, which wouldn't make any sense if, because I just watched a video on YouTube, another one playing, and he had King Crab, so obviously I should have it as well. Our storage is good. You can see your storage here. We have 930 gutted. We don't have anybody working for us. That's our throttle. That's our speed, fuel, and the condition of your vessel should say your beautiful beautiful inheritance this is gonna bring us to fame and fortune this tiny little thing so we got to cherish it it was an inheritance from our grandpa in which we we uh, thank so much and love so much other things on the map uh, all these little boats and that big sucker there, I don't know what that is. It looks like a, a tanker for uh, fuel or oil or something. All these little boats were not here before when I played. See, all I got is Cod, Haddock, Pollock, and Redfish. I don't have King Crab. Maybe it's something I have to unlock. And then Open Sea should be here, which used to be a little boat, open water, which used to be a little boat. Now it's a green circle. Now I had that in my other career that I just restarted. So maybe something with the King Crab is I have to undiscovered location. That's what that does. Um, yeah, maybe I just have to unlock it somehow. Okay, so we want to gear not in range. It's going to be in a second. Just hold the phone. How are you not blue? Or green. Alright, we know how to play this game. And uh, Good. Good. We're taking goods. We're taking goods. We prefer perfects, but we're taking goods as well. A lot of this is a premature... 
long as we don't have a miss, we're happy. Oh yeah, perfect, perfect. Get them, perfect fish. Come on, perfect. Nope, good. Come on, good. One more. Come on, perfect. Nope, a little bit too far on that one. Perfect, plus 25%. Like it, I like it. And go. Nope, good. Plus 28. Ooh, that was close. That's 9 out of 13. That'd be 10. A little bit too far. We're still getting a really good amount of fish here. Good. Ooh, good again, good again. And good on the last one. Oh well, we tried. Uh, yeah, that's we got caught on that one. We got Pollock, Redfish, Haddock. We got pretty much all of the species. My hand is twitching like a leaf in the wind. Okay, try getting the fish again. Getting the fish will usually l increase the price of the fish when selling them, unless you get the fish particularly badly less than two stars note that the port will still buy ungutted fish from you please to press start what I you didn't let me press start congratulations on hauling in your second long line this is a map interface well, we already know about the map uh, get out of the map wait can I gut my fish uh, e f you didn't let me get the fish. I want to get it because I want the most money as I can here. And slice. I really like this. This is a lot better than the other one. Like the other one was brutal. A little bit short. Short and sweet. Whoa, look at this beast. Well, I couldn't see the line on that one. Oh, that was horrible. Uh, still a two star. That was a horror. Can I, can I not move the fish? No, you can't move the fish. Rotate the fish. And that's it. All right, now our fish are gutted. Hold on, Lick. I want to drive the boat from here. No. Yeah, it doesn't matter. Okay. We need to go to port. Which will be... Oh, holy crap. Yeah, that's, that's happening. This is a thing. Fast travel. Like what is what's this thing like a cruise ship? That looks like a cruise ship. Man, this thing is slow. There you go. There you go. All right, let's go. How many we got? How many we got? Twenty nine hundred and twenty three kgs. We got seventy seven kgs free. Yeah, pretty much full up. This is slow. Hold on. I want to see. Is that is that a cruise ship? Oh, that is a cruise ship. Can I drive that thing? I want to drive that thing. I'll take that fishing. Can you imagine the storage? Okay. These are running lights. Search lights. Oh, did that do anything? Oh, yeah. I got a search. I don't know. How. Oh, there you go. Woo. Okay, that's cool. Work lights. Awesome. And interior lights. Don't need any of that. Ah, listen to that beautiful baby noise. Alright, with a small boat like this is not a big deal. I do remember with a big boat, as soon well, even with a small boat, I guess, as soon as you enter that purple square, it's gonna open up the uh, sail menu for your fish and it will not stop your boat. So you can't talk. I don't even know where the docking button is. 
Uh, and you're gonna crash in the uh, the dock and then cry yourself to sleep at night, dock at Hammerfest. I think I got it before the sale menu appeared. So this is a range depending on, I guess, the cut. And, oh, I only got one cut. So uh, the, the pricing of the fish and the cut, I guess. So you get between 10,000 and 32,000. We're gonna sell this. It gave us 44,900. I'm not sure if we have a, a loan or I have to take a loan. Not 100% sure. Click yes below if you would like to do the next tutorial in order to learn how to set a long line. Um, I'm gonna go with no. I'm thinking I can figure it out. Really, I wanna spin the other way. Why can't I spin the other way? So you can't rotate the camera while you're here at the dock. Okay, skip time, map, weather forecast, fish market, town. So that's the hire people. I'm not looking to hire crew house. No. Okay, so that's the bank. Okay, so we don't have a debt. We can take a loan out. I don't want to take a loan. There's no jobs here. Uh, I don't need that right now. And then I'm already docked. Uh, fish market. By long lines what do I have I have two 250 meter lines I know that those will fill up my uh, my storage so I'm gonna keep it at this there's no point in buying more well this is all new holy crap 200 Kroners for a bronze and, and mahogany f stick f fishing rod. Uh, zero percent better cut is what I have. Plastic, hundred and ninety-five thousand kroners for a gut knife. You get eight percent better gut, but that's now. Once you grow up with the bigger fishes, you don't need that anymore. Plastic, steel, military grade leather monocular. 16x zoom, hundred thousand dollars. So that's let's just say that's the stuff right now we can't. And this doesn't tell you the price of this. Oh yeah, there you go. Buy I for ten thousand kroner. So we're not having that. Um. Okay, so I guess we can't buy boats here. I was looking at. I, I wanted to see the pricing. No, I'm actually good. Um, hold on, we do need fuel. Dock. Oh, unless it's healing. Uh, so let's fill up on fuel. And then the upgrades. Um, and then the boats. Okay, so they didn't change any of the boats. I, I have the Hermes, the Lunar Bow, and... I don't like this one. It just looks so odd how it's square like that. In the back, I believe I bought it, but I'm I'm not utilizing it. So this is the king of the king. That's the boat that I have that I am utilizing in the um, my other career, I guess. I don't know if I can continue that one now since I started a new one. But see, even this one's flat square at the end. This doesn't look that bad, but this just looks wrong it just looks wrong is it just me Lee let me guy like, I can't speak you guys let me know in the comment section if this looks weird that don't look like a boat to me at all that looks like it's top heavy to boot It'd be so easy to tip this thing in the water no I don't like that I like the lunar bow 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 or bow whichever one you guys prefer and the Hermes but obviously we can't they're locked anyway we can buy this what looks like a speedboat more than anything else for a hundred and eighty thousand kroner so anyway we're not buying anything right now unless we want to upgrade a little bit of ours an engine upgrade would be swell like I plan on making a lot of money with this 
Hey, 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 hey! Dude! Where'd you get your boating license from? He's still going. His, his throttle's still full. He's still going. Um. <clears throat> fishing quota upgrade increased quota. You know what? I think I'm just going to... Is that just for communication? If I click on it, I'm assuming I'm buying it right off the bat. We only do one radar upgrade on this. We could do a few um, engine upgrades. If I upgrade the storage right now, that means I need to buy more lines. Because I need, I would need that, but I don't want to spend too much money. So I'm just going to head out with this. You don't have any bait and lines. Okay, no. That's what I forgot. I need bait. No, no, I need the fish market. Um, fish prices. So it's good for redfish. Mackerel. Technically they're good for all of them, but this is their, um... So there is crab. No, I'm baiting it with crab. Okay, but I gotta look at the map. Can I not exit this? Look at my map. No, I want all species. Thank you very much. Okay, uh, let's go cod, haddock, pollock. Ooh. So either haddock or Pollock. We're gonna focus on this area here because we're not, I know, we're not gonna buy a new boat or anything right now. No. Okay, so this is really redfish. This is for uh, either one of them. Okay, so let's bait one with that, and we'll bait one with mackerel. Okay, now let's get out of here so he, behind me, can get the hell out of my way. Stop rear-ending me. Oh, he's still, he's still going full throttle, like, he doesn't give no Fs. No Fs were given today. Okay, so let's turn these lights on, running lights, uh, and no, we don't need the searchlight. I do want to put a marker to know we, where we are going. We are going to go, actually right, I cannot cross land, well, okay, I'm not trying to cross land. We're going to go right here, we're going to put three like that, we're going to fast travel to that. Exit this, and as we go straight, can I not? Hold on, let's uh, idle off here. I thought I could um, have the species showing here. Okay, that's the sonar, storage, line info, weather. No, I didn't want that. Don't tell me that's redfish. There's a little bit of everything. Alright, so let's just go. Not too fast. I thought I could see the the yield of the fishes. I guess I would have to go on the sonar. And we're going to set a gear. One or the other. They're both going to go down here.
Doesn't look like there's that much fish here, but... Okay, let's look at the map. Yeah, no, we totally missed that area. Okay, so let's go straight for a bit until we hit the good yield. Which again, I thought I could see on here. Maybe they changed it. I don't want them too close to each other either. The main focus of any game is to make money, right? And as much of a struggle that it can be making money with a tiny little boat like this, we're at 71,000 kroners. If I just keep doing what I'm doing now with a tiny little boat, I don't have to take out a loan. I could just buy a boat. There's just gonna be a lot of grind. I shouldn't have put that line there. I was not in the yield at all. Line info, we got one deployed. Age is 24 minutes. I thought it was meters. No, that's 25 minutes. That's gotta be in there for a long time. We're getting there. We're getting there. At least they're going to be evenly, well, pretty much evenly spaced apart. I'm still curious about this crab fishing though. I don't have crab. I should have crab. Hopefully it's going to unlock once I purchase bigger boats and better equipment. Maybe I have to unlock it from another uh, <clears throat> outpost. Let's go a little bit more. Let's actually hide the HUD and snap a screenshot because I always always forget to take screenshots all right I'm thinking we're good here we're gonna slow it down and we're gonna drop a line what's the sonar say yeah we got we got fish we got fish we got lots of fish oh yeah So that is it. We have two lines that we have to wait countless hours and hours and hours. With that being said, we are going to go right there. Oh, there's one here as well. Okay, we're going to go here. Once this is discovered, we're going to have a look at our lines. How long have they been? Three hours? Plenty, plenty, plenty of time. Our boat is slow as molasses. This is going to take forever. Didn't hit the final waypoint, but we're going to hit it. Let's make sure we hit it. That way I don't have to go back in the map. I thought it was just going to exit the map and not the entire fast travel. But again, I haven't played in such a long time. I got to familiarize myself with everything all over again. I have 91 games, I believe, on my Steam account so far. And uh, unfortunately, you just can't play all of them at the same time. Come on, Maka, go away. I'm not sure if this is uh, controller friendly as well. I'm thinking it is. There you go, arrive at final waypoint.
How's our fuel? 139 liters, we're good. <clears throat> Excuse me, we're not gonna buy fuel here. Okay, so we discovered this. Um, we don't need the dock. It's probably gonna ask me to dock as soon as I enter this. Or not. I gotta get closer. I oh, know I actually gotta click the dock button right there. Boom. Dock. Okay, let's check the map. These are at four hours. They gotta be right in the middle. Yeah, I can't put my mouse over it. And I can't point with my finger because you guys can't see that. But what I'm gonna do is end the episode here. I'm gonna circle back around there. There's no ports here. There's one there, and that's open water, and there should be one or two over here. One. That's a long ways to go. So I will end the episode here. I will um, travel back to this area here by the time, see what they're at, which I'm pretty sure they're not gonna be ready. If not, I'm gonna come research, discover this location and then circle back and I will see you guys in just a bit.